All right, so I'm taking this K1 apart to see what's on here. And we might as well just take a look at this PCB real quick. I'm not sure what kind of modules these are, but I'm sure the EEs in the chat will be able to figure it out. Um, so we've got this on the front side. Then if we look around back, there's a fan here and a bunch of connectors on this secondary board that's kind of piggybacked on this one. It's a pretty interesting design. Um, but what I'm interested in doing now is taking off the hot end. And it looks like we've got a volcano length nozzle with this melt zone here. Um, maybe it's a half volcano length, but I digress. Um, basically, I've taken all of the screws out of this thing and I'm still not able to get it to come loose. You can see when I grab onto it here. So you can see here when I grab onto this and I wiggle it, it looks like it's pivoting about something inside of here, um, but I've removed all of the screws, I think. So what I'm gonna do is pull this down, shove this wedge up in here. But I really can't see any additional fasteners in here that need to be loosened. So uh, I'm gonna get an all around look at this thing see underneath. It's possible that these screws, I guess these uh, these black screws that are going in through the heat break might be doing something. And I'm going to poke at this thermal compound just to see if it's a glue or if it's a, uh, yeah, that's just like a, a normal thermal compound for kind of like a CPU heat sink, I believe. Um, but yeah, this is not wanting to come loose. I'm really wrenching at it. As you can see, it's all scuffed up. Um, hmm. I don't see where there could be any additional fasteners. We've got one screw here. Just this grub screw that's holding onto the heat break. All right, so tiny Allen wrench time. Let's loosen those up. Oh yeah, these two screws were holding it in. So I must have been bending the crap out of it just then. But let's see, fortunately they look in pretty decent shape. And that's why we don't just brute force things, even though it might be tempting sometimes. So uh, now we can take a look at this hot end and uh, we might as well take a look at this uh, injection molded carriage that they have here. Looks pretty neat, I mean, this is where the extruder goes. This is where the hot end and heat sink goes. Right around front, you can see hot end and heat sink just gets attached down here. Um, but yeah, tons of threaded inserts in this thing. And it's a very lightweight carriage when everything's removed. It's super minimal and efficient. So it's a pretty decent design, if you ask me. Um, yeah, I mean, build quality looks great. The only thing I haven't confirmed is whether or not these brass bushings are centered bronze or uh, centered brass or whatever. There's a type of bushing that has little bits of oil embedded into the bronze itself. So it's like a porous metal and there's some oil in there. Um, they provide grease for you to apply to these rods, I think. Or I might not have been... Uh, Maybe I wasn't supposed to apply that here, but you can see the residue on these rods is black, which might indicate to me that there's some uh, oil being released from these bushings because the grease that I applied was clear slash white. Um, like a, you know, you can see some of it right here. It's like that white colored grease. Looks just like lard if you're into cooking. So yeah, that's about all there is to see here. I'm gonna take this hot end over somewhere else and do a deep dive into it, as well as this PCB here. So stay tuned for that. Make sure to subscribe if you wanna learn more about the Creality K1. And thanks for watching.